Hi, I'm going to be answering a couple of questions from the user voice forums, uh, and I'm going to be hitting some of the easier ones right now because, you know, there's a lot of design stuff that we still have to talk about before we answer some of these other questions. Kaboni asks, how many companions can you have with you at a time? If more than one, how will they interact? It's a good question, Kaboni. I think the answer is maybe four, but more likely three will be our target. More than three becomes difficult to write and design uh, with any degree of deep reactivity, and there's a lot of factors that go into developing companions. Adding more to the mix increases the difficulty and time needed exponentially. Why? Because of how they interact. So it's good that you asked that question, too, because it leads nicely into part two of my answer. The questions, or the companions will interact like people with wildly different personalities and backgrounds. They will probably look to you for their cues on how they react to each other, and I imagine they'll treat each other like you treat them. Still, some of them are more fundamentally broken than the others, and they may react in unpredictable ways to unexpected kindness and cruelty. They might become truly loyal friends, both to you and to each other, or they might become bitter enemies and be at each other's throats all the time. Whatever the case, we anticipate that their interactions both with each other and with you will be truly memorable. The next question is from Wist, or possibly Weist, I don't know how you want me to pronounce that, but I'm going to go with Wist. Uh, it was Evil Selfish Playthrough. Playing an evil character in RPGs often means turning down a lot of quests or asking for more money to do it. Can you get my necklace back for me? I couldn't possibly defend myself from thieves, and I can't get it back using brute force because I'm not allowed to fight. Sure, but you'll have to give me ten coin for this because I'm evil and don't help people unless they pay me. So what's your take on evil playthrough? Would you support it, or is it too much of a hassle to make it credible without the greedy workaround? If so, do you have ideas to share on how you would do it? Well, our take is that we are not measuring good and evil in our game. Our game is about the five tides, not a not an external basis of morality. So yes, you will be able to handle, or you will be able to play the game through as what would traditionally be considered an evil playthrough. Um, however, you know we are going to be marking your actions as lacking in empathy, for instance, or lacking in charity, lacking in compassion. Uh, but we are not going to be judging you necessarily as good or evil. You will have these choices in the game. Um, so we'll totally support, we'll totally support this playthrough. Um, but, you know, people will think you're a jerk. The next question is from Ref10, who wants to know, will it be possible to finish the game without killing anyone? That's a really good question, Raf10. Um, you know, I it's a long way off, and sometimes I get snappy under stress, and who can say? I mean, somebody might just make me really, really angry at some point, and I might snap. I Oh, you mean in the game. Um, we're certainly aiming for that. I'm not going to make any guarantees right now, but we are. we definitely want to make the game playable as a pacifist, and I'm going to do the best that I can in order to make that happen. And that is it. It looks like it's time for me to start packing, so uh, I'll see you guys in California.